Say hello, everybody. It's Vitaly over here at OG Gamers World, OG Gamers Live, and we're back. And we're going to go over a couple of different things for the Zoom F6. I've put up videos before, but we're, we're kind of updating that information. If you're an iPhone user and you have not been able to get that F6 control app to work on your phone, this video may be for you depending on, on what version of the firmware you have. But we're going to cover updating the firmware a little bit farther on in this video. So let's get to it, shall we? First thing we're going to do is we're going to power this up. And it's a little blurry, and I apologize. Those that have been following me a while, y'all know I was robbed last year, and my cinema cameras and stuff were stolen, and I no longer have the money to replace them. The first thing we're going to do is cover hooking up to the F6 app on your iPhone. Even though you can't see it, if you have one, then you know what I'm talking about. The very top one says F6 control. And right up until recently, mine said iOS 13. And I'm not sure which update changed that, but mine worked right up until today. We'll get more into that later. As you can see, it says iOS 9 through 12 now. If you're on an iPhone and you're using any version other than 9 through 12, do not use that one. Come down here to F6 Control and use that one instead. And we're going to hit Enter. And it's going to pop up on the phone. Unfortunately, it's not showing up very well. Let me uh, bring another camera in on this. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, it's searching. And it's popped up here on my phone. We're going to hit that. It's going to go to connecting. It's going to populate all the tracks. And as you can see, it is now connected and it's working. And that is how you fix the issue with your iPhone not connecting to your Zoom. If you have, are using any other version other than 9 through 12. And the next thing we're going to cover is we're going to turn this off. <clears throat> and we're going to up, update the firmware. There'll be a link in the video description below. And as you can see, Zoom has released a firmware update as of 7 28, 2023. And it's firmware version 2.0. You're going to click on that. You're going to download it. Come go over to your computer to wherever you downloaded it. And we're going to extract all. I've already got it extracted and we're just going to do it with replace. And this bin file right here, you're going to want to copy that to your SSD card for your Zoom. Once you have that done, insert the SD card back into the Zoom if you used a card reader. You can also do it directly to the, the Zoom using the Zoom as a, a card reader. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, do mine through the zoom. We're going to set it up to be the card reader for a minute. And the way you do that is hit the menu button here, which is number one. Come down to system. Hit the check button. Go to USB. Hit the check button. And we're going to select that very first one where it says SD card reader. We're going to click that. Now we are the card reader. We are going to find it. Here in the, our 
computer. This is it right here. And we're just going to paste that bin file right here in the main directory. See it right there? We're going to close that. We are going to power down the Zoom F6. We're just going to turn it off. This can be a little tricky sometimes, but it's not that bad. You can hold the play and the pause button right here very firmly and power it back up. It's going to immediately pop into the update window. I've already got mine updated and it says update 2.0 We're just going to go ahead and do it again so y'all can see what that looks like. We're going to hit the up button, choose update, and click OK. And it's going to take a few minutes, but that's OK. Let's please power off. We're going to shut it down. We're going to power it back up. And theoretically, it should automatically try to reconnect to the uh, uh, F6 control app. If it doesn't, that's okay. Hit the menu. Let's go to system. Click OK. We're going to go to Bluetooth. We're going to go down to F6 control, not to IOS, but F6 control itself. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to hit connect. And it's searching. It's popped up in the app. I know y'all can't see it on my phone, but you might. And we're going to go ahead and click on it. It says connecting. And now it says connected on both devices. And to show you that it's working, we'll move this over here, move this over here. And you can see the lights lighting up as we turn them on in the app. Okay. But to show you what I'm talking about, now that you've got that done again in, in uh, version 2.0, you should be able to just turn this off. And when you power it back up, it should start looking for the F the F6 control. Right, you, I can hit their button. We'll bring the phone back over here. See it looking for the app. It's popped back up now. We're going to select it. And it's connecting. And it's connected. And from now on, it should just work that way. When you power it up, it should look for the app. And you just open the app and, and connect it. Uh, if you do not want it to connect, you, you can... Uh, go into settings and, and uh, disconnect. But anyway, I hope that helps some of y'all that were having problems getting the uh, F6 control app to work on your, your later iPhones. Uh, that's that's because if you try to use it through the iOS, the F6 control iOS for 9 to 12, it's not going to work. Uh, just go down one to F6 control and do it that way and you shouldn't have any problems. Till next time, this is Vitaly over at OG Gamers Live, OG Gamers World. Y'all stay safe. We have you on the world today, and I'm out of here.